I first was in practice, you turn five years old, you're ready for TNA. Sure. Not anymore. I think it was a study in 1982 in the New England Journal of Medicine, I think it was in February, that said 82% of those TNAs were unnecessary. Sure. Uh, what's the current thinking about tonsillectomy surgery? We've uh, um, cut back as, as a group, otolaryngologists have cut back as a group significantly in the amount of tonsils, uh, tonsillectomies and adenoidectomies we perform. Right now, the, the current indications for tonsillectomy, there are absolute indications, times when you absolutely should take the tonsils and adenoids out, and there are times that uh, we have relative indications, which means you should start to think about taking them out. The absolute indications, specifically in children, are obstructive sleep apnea, uh, risk of malignancy, in other words, if you thought there was, there was a tumor there, which is very rare, it happens in adults more than it does in children. Um, recurrent tonsillar hemorrhage, which is, is also very rare. Those are the main absolute indications, times we should really think about taking the tonsils and adenoids out. The relative indications um, are ones that we, we, we say to ourselves, we have to take the whole picture into place, think about the child, what, what's going on with them, and decide whether we need to, to, to to, to address this surgically. Recurrent infections of the tonsils is the big one. And the current thinking is if you have seven infections in one year, five infections per year for two consecutive years, or three infections per year for three consecutive years that are requiring antibiotics and are usually strep infections, um, th that's a relative indication to think about tonsillectomy.